look inside right now. Ins and outs. The stars have aligned. Number one. This coffee. Hi. Tried and failed. Staple. Hello, Earthlings. This video is brought to you by Squarespace, the fast and easy way to make a beautiful website. No YouTuber ever talks about the stress of starting a vlog when you don't feel presentable. Anyways, I've decided that you're catching me on a good day. Hey, hi, hello. Welcome back to the vlog. It's your host, Tara. The hair has been air wrapped. The smoky eye is on. The fit is good. The only thing that can get me this glam on an absolutely pissing rain Wednesday is work. I will say there is a direct correlation between putting makeup on and your productivity level. The last vlog, I took you along on some apartment updates, including making my storage window seat into like a vanity slash uh, work from home desk. I filmed two makeup TikToks at that spot this morning and honestly the difference it made. I'd say the coffee is definitely hitting. The mood is very much at a jeep power. Why am I using this as a bookmark? I was about to say the, uh, the planner from my last video has definitely been keeping me on track. Speaking of which, how good is this mascara? Like I don't even have a lash lift uh, and I find it really hard to find mascaras that don't make my lashes sag. This L'Oreal one up on a whim because I also remembered in America, you can return any beauty products. Like you can use them and return them, which is still mind boggling. I've been here seven years and I don't think I've ever returned a beauty product. Maybe like one time. Can't do that in Europe. And I don't know, I'm too embarrassed to take the L, you know? It's this L'Oreal Lash Paradise one. And I got it in the waterproof version because waterproof is always better for, you know, um, holding a curl. Already overthinking how insufferable I was at the start of this video. Anyway, gotta love yourself. I have been loving everyone's ins and outs list for 2023. I think they're so funny. I find it hilarious, like how niche everyone's like pet peeves are. I felt like sharing mine. A lot of them will not come with any explanation at all. If you disagree, tough. Joking, I'm joking. Why this is the first one I have down, but oil pulling. This Guru Nanda stuff. I thought the owner was like really, really cute. Love this brand. It's so like fresh and minty. It feels amazing. It feels like you floss your teeth with like toothpaste on it. Like it's so fresh. And I also think it's made my teeth whiter. Be amazing for like nerve damage and preventing root canals and healing teeth that were destined um, to die and rot into your head. And I have like a massive fear of that. So calling yourself pretty publicly. And other girls do this. And the thing is, I've never held it against them. I always thought it was quite like an admirable trait to openly be like, I'm a pretty girl. But every beautiful pretty girl has the ability to be ugly. We all know this. I think being your own biggest fan and your own champion is a very important thing. And I wanna invite more of that into my life. And if you're uncomfortable with that concept or other people doing that, you have to go internal. It has something to do with things that you would find uncomfortable doing that you're projecting onto somebody else. And I know that from experience. Indie music in. I'm not saying it ever went away, but I mean like the iconic era of indie music, like think, I don't know, 2007, 2008, like kooks naive. You know the way a lot of kids went through like the super emo phase? My emo phase was more of an indie phase, an indie sleaze teenage phase. Soap bars in. I switched to soap instead of shower gel, probably like a year and a half ago, never looked back. Very eco-friendly, will last you like, I think a bar of soap probably lasts me five or six months. Made me convert is that when you step on public transport, like the subway or a bus, you can always smell the fecker that has washed himself just before with like dove soap and it's such a clean smell that I just don't think you can get from a shower gel. I've taken my love of soap bars an extra step further uh, and I'm going to be trying this solid shampoo. I wouldn't have been sold on this now before. Everyone that I've seen on TikTok has kind of convinced me so I got this one white tea and mandarin fragrance. Mm. So one bar equals a hundred washes. This is the soap I love by the way. It smells coconutty but fruity it's exfoliating it's delicious and i think it's actually made in brooklyn dairy coffee i will not be elaborating further okay outlist inflation oh it's a bit scary to be honest so that's on the outlist straining on the toilet whether you're peeing or pooping it's got to go gynecologists and actual doctors that study st like st top tip is always for women to stop straining because it ruins like your pelvic floor muscles and make you incontinent or begin to be incontinent which is basically when like you accidentally kind of pee yourself a bit more um, and you don't have as much control over like the muscles fun fact i actually had a brief stint 
last year uh, with a little bit of like uh, like onset of incontinence. Notice when I get up, when I was done peeing, it was almost just like wouldn't fully void. I think that's the term that they use when your uh, bladder fully empties out, but it would feel like I was done. I would stand up and then there would be like a significant amount more that would only release when I stood up. Like another nurse was like, if you use any type of cups or discs, like period products that require insertion, a lot of women hold their breath when they're doing this. And this can also weaken the pelvic floor muscles. I use a period disc, which I, I love. I could never go back to using anything else. But what I've started doing is I've just started relaxing and remembering to breathe as I'm using those products. Yeah, started breathing, stopped straining, did more deep core exercises and we're, we're good to go. At this point, you guys definitely know me intimately. Over explanation also out. It probably more so pertains to being an online presence with like multiple platforms in which I can be contacted on. We've gotten to a place of parasocial relationships where people have such easy access to you and they would rather ask you um, a really Googleable question and hope that there's a small chance that you respond instead of just going to like Google or like making some kind of effort to find the answer themselves. It's not even that, like it goes across so many like different uh, levels that I've noticed. It's sarcasm is something that really doesn't translate on the internet or, you know, there's different cultures, there's different languages and not everyone is going to kind of pick up on the nuances. It leads to a lot of censoring of myself. I just have to let it go, do you know? It's, it's for the people who get it. Like if you get it, you get it, you don't. You know, if someone is like, hell-bent on misunderstanding you or can't spend your whole life explaining implementing it in subtle ways like i've been posting a lot more on my instagram stories without posting what it is like in the world of parasocial relationships like that's become normalized like you could post a picture of an apple and somebody will be like where did you get the apple need to know and it's like you don't need to know you know you're gonna forget about it in 25 minutes you no know, life will go on it's posting photos on instagram with no text on them not to gatekeep but for me that's my little creative canvas for the day and the text ruins it it's very innocent so i've taken steps to kind of manage expect people's expectations a bit more um, and for anyone that's like oh it's your job like it's your job to you know answer every single minute request you get about every single tiny little thing you post no it's not it's not my job that's not what i do um i think i do a really good job at sharing what i'm talking about anyway I try and use my time to answer people that have really um pressing um different hardship like things that i can really actually help and impact with in their day i've had quite the mood shift i had to get a battery and turn on the lights because it's gotten super dark Pulling a top a shirt oh my god the americans are murdered for this sorry guys but yeah today i'm on tiktok or youtube and a girl's putting on a corset from urban outfitters and calling it a shirt Oh, my shirt. But I could argue that um, I call trousers pants. Look, there's wiggle room, but I just think universally a shirt should just be like a button up shirt, you know, or like a blouse. Next out is probably one of my personal pet peeves. It's more so from, a, you know, an online content girly perspective. Candid videos that do not look candid or natural in any way shape or form especially in new york and like cities that seems to be the style of content is you know getting someone to film you across the street while you're doing she's just a stranger from the street and she looks absolutely fabulous like i get it you can do that but like at least do it well go all in like fully embody the candidness you know people talk about like the millennial second a little bit as well like when you're recording yourself there's always that second where you're checking if it's on or if it's recording like no one ever cuts that out it's the same type of pet peeve with those street videos and like fashion videos where it's like on a corner or whatever and you're like pretending not to see the person or you're pretending to be on your phone or you're like you're pretending to be talking to your friend like on some level you know it's being recorded everyone that's watching knows it's being recorded so like if you're gonna do candid like you have to go 1000% and like lean into like full on actress. Talk like a normal person, move like a normal person. I feel like everyone gets really stiff when they know the camera is on them. So like they'll do like really awkward things with their hands, like the hand will go into the pocket and then they'll just kind of like style it out. I really do mean this more so from like the people that are professionally doing this as their job. Like just practice, just practice, it's free. You know what I mean? Like it's something that really could be easily improved, you know? So can we just stop buying like 20 
empty croissants and baguettes for content. Just leave the bakeries alone. That's it, that's my ins and outs list. Just turned around and had so much appreciation for my view right now with my little moon. I'm trying to capture with my phone because my um, vlog camera is really not doing it any justice. Okay, so I had to get comfy. Comfy for the chats, you know. The video was a bit of crack, but I actually do want to talk to you guys kind of about my upcoming plans and what's been on my mind, of which I am sure I've alluded to in the video description and i hope you appreciate that i'm not making you wait to the end of the video yeah I, I there's a lot there's a lot i have to chat to you about notice that i've been um advertising my apartment for rent in february and that is because yes i haven't really told to you guys or anyone yet but um i'm spending february in vancouver shock horror everyone's wondering why i've been going over like it seems like i'm going over more but he actually spent almost four months in new york so i love going over there like being in a new city together is like i'm discovering it i guess it's always really fun and um, way more fun than it is like i know new york like it's not exciting for me anymore i can't wait to see him i can't wait to be in that flat apartment is like a home for two people and it feels like our home while i'm there i'm gonna be on a bit of a digital detox it's not that i'm burnt out or anything i'm actually really enjoying making content at the moment um but like i said the stars are aligning for a few things happening so if it's like stories every day i'm just conditioned that like if i don't show up people will forget about me and that's so not the case basically i've promised myself i'm not going to be on stories unless i have work to post i do have some ad things that i have scheduled we'll probably put up the odd post it's fun no stories and i also won't be vlogging obviously as you're watching this now this is a pre-filmed vlog that i shot at the end of january so if i'm not answering this i'm seeing them and i probably will reply it's gonna be really nice i want to do a lot of reading the main reason that i'm also going to be taking a step back and just removing that social media pressure is because i want to channel my focus into something that i think would be very very important for me i have watched my friends these past few years go through their own career pivots it really took the fear out of it for me i think for a while when you just start getting on your feet um in whatever job you're in you know it's so fresh and and the comfortability and the stability is so fresh that you can't imagine doing anything else but i always knew i was going to do something else i just didn't know what as much as i love social media i've always expressed my desire to do something else to not have it be my only thing in life other things too but i've always sort of found a flaw with the ideas that have that's kind of made me not want to pursue them or like maybe you'll be like oh yeah down the line maybe girls like this is coming for me too this change is coming for me but i just don't know what it is yet and i've been waiting i've been waiting patiently to kind of just get that um light bulb moment because i i know that's how my brain works from my practice with my relationship internally with myself i already know that i will be shown the path at the right time like call it talking to your higher self the powers that be whatever it is i say every single day like i'm open to guidance like show me down the right path if i wasn't doing this maybe i'd be doing interior design um, and getting back into like my design roots it never sort of set like a burning passionate flame within me you know and i'm a very like all or nothing person like when i know i know even when it comes to people that i know i'm going to fall in love with like i know in the first five seconds of meeting them about two weeks ago the light bulb went off and um, it almost felt like silly because i feel like it's been staring me in the face for like probably a year but i never somehow considered myself doing something like this I signed up for a course that would potentially allow me to go into a career pivot completely not related to social media whatsoever it's something that i would find truly very very fulfilling i think that i can do online so i'm basically going to be using february to completely throw myself into this course and not worry about social media or um, anything like that and just to really dedicate myself starting this new kind of career trajectory and it's not something that's just gonna like happen overnight it's just more so I want to invest the time in training myself and seeing if it's something I even like look I'm willing to take the L if I just end up not liking it a supporter of just trying things trying a lot of things till you find something you like but we're gonna see how we get on we give too much away about it look if you never hear me talk about it again maybe it went all pear-shaped it is sort of I would consider it in the holistic health space but it's not anything 
traditional it's not anything that you would even guess that i would be involved in i talk a lot about different holistic things but uh, i i would be very very surprised if, if anyone guessed what it was because it was even news to me honestly i enjoy being a student it's something i find really really stimulating is just learning about anything and everything yeah wish me luck or don't you know you guys know these videos are my diary entry i've never kept a diary but the vlogs are my my visual diary and um Hopefully this will be a chapter I'll want to kind of remember. A big goal that I put into my planner. I'll just take some time to genuinely upskill. I had to grab my camera so quick. I happened to look up and see this purple glow. Usually this would never show up. Lilac. But I took a look outside and look at the sky. Oh my god. That is getting me excited for spring summer. We're back. Back on the salmon rice bowls. Do it all the time. You've seen it a million times before. However, I did want to recommend a little salmon update because I have made it yesterday and today because it's so delicious. My hand is shaking because I just did a little Pilates workout. But I slather the salmon in a little bit of QP mayo. I season it on top with this Lori's. I always see it on like the camping side of YouTube and, and their normal plain seasoning is absolutely bomb. But yeah, I love a lemony piece of fish like most. So I slather it in that. I don't know what it is about the mayo, but it just seems to keep the salmon really moist. I just cover, like I fold the tin foil over. It steams in the tin foil and doesn't get like too burnt on the top. And then when it's done, then because I really like citrus, just a few squirts of lemon juice. So if there's one thing I hate, it's dry salmon. Also got some broccoli sprouts in there. My pickled hormone raw carrots are busted out as well. Close your eyes. Breathe in and let it go. Okay, so skin check. <laughs> skin is looking a lot better this week. If you saw the intro of last week's video before the sale where I had my makeup on, my face was so ashy. It's been a bit of like project repair skin moisture barrier since then because I knew that it was stripped, but I just kind of wasn't really doing anything about it. I installed the water filter. I've been using pretty much the same products. I added like one or two things in. So I think between the shower head and little addition to my products, I think it's made all the difference the first day where I felt my skin in the shower and it felt like it just didn't feel dry or rough. Like it almost, not that I had skincare on, but it felt smooth. That's what I'm trying to say. Also noticed a difference in my hair, not so much immediately after I wash it, but next day hair, a lot like less poof volume. So far, it's early days. I know I am a fan of the Jolie shower head. It's more so if the um, effects last the whole three months, because obviously like shower filters, they might taper off in terms of effectiveness. Yeah, I already shared my products on Instagram, but I feel like it's unfair if I don't at least glaze you over what I've been using. Using a humectant and like a good sort of anti-aging radiance environmental barrier serum, Cosrx um, Shiseido Ultimune. And then in terms of moisturizer, I was already using the water drench free gel, but I busted out my Cicaplast, which I think honestly should be a bathroom staple for any dry gal. I know a lot of people use it for like dermatitis, but it's just a really thick cream. I've been lathering this on morning and night kind of on top of everything. And if I'm going out, I'll also put this on. Glowy Gel SPF. Can't recommend this enough. I really, really like it. It's a, it feels like a moisturizer, which I like. So in the corner here, you may be able to see some natural deodorants. This is just like half of my pile. One of my goals for this year was to finally switch over to natural deodorant. And I've Tried and failed last year, but I just don't think those ones suited me. I think I'm onto a winner. TikTok video, I think. If you don't follow me already, my TikTok is the same as my Instagram. It's just Tarmers. I'm in Williamsburg. Did a spot a shop and then I woke. I'm going to meet my friend for a coffee, but I'm checking in because number one, the makeup actually looks cute. I didn't realize that until I just flipped out the camera. Number two, I just saw a TikToker. I don't think I'm out enough to really see people on social media. I'm heading into Walgreens by the way. Cause social media people, especially not TikTok famous people. 
um, I don't know, maybe I just don't leave the house enough or they're not in my like immediate area. But yeah, it was kind of trippy, not gonna lie. I went for a specific brand of natural deodorant because I'm doing a natural deodorant test because I've, I've racked up a few brands now and I kind of want to put them all against each other. Personal, personal care. Okay, maybe around here. <laughs> I had to vlog this coffee from La Lala Monteri because it's just, it's just gorgeous. Charles got a nice little salad situation. Dean. Hello Earthlings, um, I'm having a really good start to my day. I'm actually leaving the house today so I thought I'd better document it. I haven't been social as I said since getting back because I've just been very focused. It's been quiet anyway, it's fine, it's winter. This week it's picked up a bit now, I had coffee at the start of the week um, with a friend and today is kind of actually a busy one. I'm going to see Karen, Karen Britchick, OG. Um, I haven't seen Karen since before the pandemic, it's been at least three years. Um, I've left it way too long to meet up but I actually think we're very bad at organising to see each other. We're always saying we will and then we don't but today it's happening. I cannot wait to catch up with her because the last hour she knew was a very different tarot. So I'm gonna to have to completely reintroduce myself, which has kind of been my favorite thing to do with anyone I haven't seen in a long time. Then afterwards, I'm meeting Christy and going to an event. I don't go to a lot of events, but this is a Maison Margiela one, and I absolutely like adore their fragrances and their candles. So bring Christy with me. They're treating us to a dinner, and I wanna dress nicely. I haven't done a fancy event in a while, you know? I wanna make an impression. And also, it's an excuse to get dressed up, which I definitely have not had recently. And this Line by K top just arrived that I had ordered. I Love the line by K. Very considered purchase. After I did my closet clear out again, I was trying to see what I felt was missing from my closet. And I felt like, you know the way you have a little black dress? I don't feel like I have a little black top. Like I have black tops, but nothing that's like a go-to. You put it on, it looks good, it looks effortless. I'm trying this up for a really long time and I finally bit the bullet. They're always a little quirky. Like there's always something like a little off about them in the best way possible. Like there could be like an asymmetric side or just like a really more exaggerated um, cut out in the silhouette. I'm gonna put it on and show you what I plan to wear for the event this evening because I might have to take it with me. The weather is very much against me today, guys. Oh, okay, so this is what I'm talking about. Look at the drape across the neck. This is the, I have a tank like this and I just absolutely adore it. I think it really just complements um, my shape. Also make it so that it kind of sits ruched across the waist as well and i needed like a longer style top because i've been wearing wow that's really crooked wearing kind of lower silhouettes recently and a lot of my tops seem to be cropped so this is the new go-to black top by steve madden kind of pointy stiletto fitted boots on and i just think um this could be a vibe like i feel like i would feel good in this going to the event. The satin Zara cargoes, by the way, that I just kind of sized up to a large in, I think. I feel like that with a chunky earring always just looks a little more chic, you know, but I have my makeup packed. I just have a long day today and I'm afraid if I put too much makeup on now, I'll just look haggard by the time I get to the event. Go down to cave and buy an umbrella. in here. Got my little ice latte. Um, yeah, just waiting for Karen now, but I forgot how nice the menu is too. I think I'm gonna get the zucchini fritters. No avocado because I recently found out why I don't like avocado. My mom told me when she was nine months pregnant with me, she tasted avocado and instantly threw up and I have the exact same reaction when I eat avocado. <laughs> no! You have to say hello. Well, hello everybody. Who missed Karen? Looking fabulous, never ages. It's raining outside, by the way. Look at that. It's yeah, yeah it's absolutely Perfect gross. Day to catch up. I was saying I had to reintroduce myself to Karen, but um, I hope you like this version of me too. Oh, <laughs> Fantastic. Um, yeah, we had a really, really lovely catch up. So yes. Till did. the next time, we won't leave it as long. Uh, Love of you. 
look insane right now. I felt like it was important to share that. Because I think people online, obviously, you know, you're showing the highlights. The reality is I just had a huge sob. A good one, you know. <laughs> and now I feel amazing. <laughs> Having a normal morning and like one of my triggers came into my head. I'm not sure what they say when they say like talk to yourself as if you were talking to like a, a younger version of you. This is the reality of shadow work though. Real work that I've been doing when a trigger comes up. I just hold space to be upset and to cry. Letting it go. Letting it go. You can let it go now. Most peculiar little change happened today that I noticed while I was just washing my face. Uh, trace minerals that I recommended in my um, how to heal yourself, how to start healing yourself video. I recommend these for hydration. They're like uh, drops. Also good for energy, digestion, bone, hair, nails. I think like the minimum dose, like 10 drops. For, I want to say just over a week and a half. Not for the first time with no chapped lips. Like, you guys know me from the vlog, my lips are always crusty, especially on that edge. I always have a piece on that edge every single day. Every single day, every day I pick it off. I was just in the bathroom, just like feeling my lips. And they're just never like this. You know the way everyone has their own little bodily quirks that are just, they are the way they are. They taste nasty if you put too many drops in. Oh, okay, I've decided. Well, in my favorite t-shirt that Jess got me in the off chance that you see this Jess, hello. Um, it's my little alien Roswell tea that she got from when she was there. But I've got the notion to mop the floors because I didn't get to do it at the weekend. And it's kind of, well, it's overdue, it's overdue, but it's a three-step process when I do a deep clean of these floors because um, obviously I mop and I clean and I kind of do a general upkeep, but there's a lot of scuffs that have accumulated, unfortunately, with just shoots being in and out, you know, with the um, apartment rentals I do on Pure Space when people kind of do day shoots. Step one is like just a proper good, like bleachy floor, sudsy mop. Then round two will be going around with this bad boy, which is a magic eraser mop. You guys know I always recommend magic eraser sponges because they get any scuff, any mark out, um, especially on the floors and on the walls. See in this all white apartment, I owe my life to uh, Mr. Magic Eraser, but I got the mop kind of version because I thought it'd be way easier than me like being on my hands and knees. Today is the day that we start that process because I have been avoiding it. Cause every time I go traveling, I'm like, ah, oh, I'll do it when I get back. I'll do it when I get back. So I always forget how much I love mopping because I get to use my little, my little mop spinner bucket which some influencer i don't know who influenced me to get and it's kind of life-changing i'm not really good at filming cleaning content i don't particularly enjoy watching cleaning content so i'll make this speedy let's do a little speedy time lapse shall we you guys seem to be a big fan of my playlist so if you're new here i will put on my chill af playlist down below which is kind of like a very like if you work from home it's a nice one to get stuff done it's a nice like chore um, playlist that's going upbeat and quite like positive it just like feel good makes it kind of want to bop around and then i have make you move which is much more of like at home disco dancey you know rave by yourself vibes i think both of them have over four thousand followers so so i will link those down below you're welcome you can click the date added filter and put the newest songs on the top so that's one thing that's always annoyed me about my playlist is that you guys have to scroll way to the bottom to see the new tracks on the app on your phone and you're on the playlist if you kind of like pull up a new bar will kind of show down it says filter and you click that or if you're on your laptop you just click the date added <laughs> Now we just need to get rid of all of these little scuffs as much as possible. They will all come up, but 
it's just a matter of how easy um okay let's use this as the comparison shot and then hopefully the magic eraser will do its magic after not sure if you can see any difference yeah it's taken up quite a lot of scuffs i'm impressed but you basically dip it in the water and then you use this thing to like wring it out um, and then you scrub 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 <laughs> I've never heard an audio that's more suited to you in my life. <laughs> oh, she looks insane. Look, it's been it's been a long day. I'm on my period, so my face is a bit puffy, and it's one of those times where you just like don't recognize yourself. Like, who the f is that? I'm going out for dinner with two of my mates. We're gonna go to Birds of a Feather for some really good northern chinese food oh, but guys it has been a day i finished the floors today i had to spread it over two days because it was just back breaking work scrub so hard with the magic eraser mop but it honestly looks like i painted the floors yesterday and they haven't looked this good in months it's looking good this just came in the post the kind of viral hair what's it called like a hair wax that all the girlies used to like slick back their hair because I think I'm going to do like a slicked back look tonight because my hair is greasy and Chrissy was here yesterday and she said it was good um, I know Bedhead TG TG by Bedhead does like a similar one it's like exact same packaging so I'm like who copied who I'm interested in the type of hold more than anything because I've got like such thick hair that I don't really expect something like this to work or to like be able to hold in all of the short thick pieces but uh, I figured you know we try it together in real time why not a good week it's been a good January overall guys dry January I don't know if it's just like the mixture of the energy of January this year also just the clarity that I've had doing dry January this stuff does actually feel quite grippy Ooh. okay oh my god if this works this is going to be so much easier than traveling with gel Guys, what the hell? Why do I feel like this is gonna work? I'm gonna like shape it afterwards. It's shaping up to be a very strong end to the month. I am floored. Look at that. Look at that shine. This stuff is legit. It's really sitting down against my scalp. I didn't think like on dry hair that would work that well. Sometimes TikTok gets it right, you know? I've also been booked for a photo shoot and not a photo shoot that I'm in but a photo shoot that I'm shooting and I'm shooting it on film. I've never uh, been booked for a film photo shoot before and I'm so excited. I had like butterflies for a second and then I was like, you know what? I got this, like I totally got this. There's a brand in Ireland called Aoife Ireland who I love. It's first of all, like such an achievement to be a new established designer in Ireland, but she makes like such fun clothes and she's doing something really, really different she's probably like around my age and there's a gorgeous model called talia talia heffernan is going to be such a dream to shoot on film so that's really exciting to be booked as a photographer we're going to be using my space and it's just going to be my ideal style of shoot where it's like small crew really fun girly day my friend adele is going to come as well and maybe shoot some like handy cam stuff i haven't posted this top out in a while it's this gorgeous ralph lauren like the softest most cloudiest knit you've ever felt in your life i got it from a woke vintage a good few years ago now but i actually bumped into a neighborhood neighbor of mine uh, who has kind of like a small independent clothing brand and he's absolutely lovely his brand is called here's to you there it is right there i'll put it down below as well and he was like it's so weird i was just thinking about you today and how i felt like i was going to run into you so i packed an extra one of these full on manifested me into his day i was absolutely screaming but he designed these loose thread handkerchiefs because uh, I think his story behind it was that all creatives have like a loose thread. Like how fun is that? So yeah, support local, support indigenous. I thought it would actually be a really cute, but well, I was gonna wear it as a bandana this week. It's like the exact same shade as this top and I thought potentially do like a cute neckerchief moment. I think that's it. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. We're onto something, we're onto something. I am adorable. I kind of feel like a 1950s air hostess, but like in the best way possible. I think that's cute. Like it really just reminds me of the passion I had um, for fashion design and making my own pieces once upon a time. And he really finishes them like 
to perfection. Speaking of small businesses and websites, as you guys know, my own little small business, loversunday.com, where I kind of host like my merch, my Lover Sunday inspired, kind of designed little bits, um, is hosted on Squarespace, which is of course our monthly sponsor. It's January, 2023. If you feel like now is the time to create your slice of the internet, Squarespace has your back. Squarespace is an all-in-one platform where you can design a website from start to finish all the way from what the name of it is to how it looks it really is made for the everyday person to play around with and figure out on their own it's very easy this has some example templates that are all fully customizable to suit your needs there's tons of inspiration on there so whether you need an e-portfolio for your work a blog to post about your passions somewhere to start your next online venture such as an e-com shop like i have the 24 7 support team is always there to kind of help you make your vision a reality honestly if you've just been thinking about it and you want to play around you can do so for free for two weeks using my uh, Squarespace link, squarespace.com slash It's in the top line of the description. And if you like your website and push it live in the future, you can uh, still use my code Tarmer at checkout for 10% off your future billing. Consider it a coffee on me. Okay, I think I'm gonna tuck this in. We're gonna go to dinner. But yeah, I think I look freaking adorable. <laughs> 